picked up there by Eliza. Santo na kakita na po! Here we can see a very simple play. Morado gave an 8 quick to Sato and Sato decided to drop it on the left side of the blockers of Petrogas. We know Sato is a very versatile and smart attacker. She knows when to drop, she knows when to spike. And here we can see how effective her drop ball was. In the case of Petrogas, the blockers were actually on the right spot. They were able to close down other options of attacking for Sato. But the libero of Petrogas Cruz was not able to read and react more quickly, which gave Creamline an easy point. We can see in this play that it was an out-of-system ball, and there were only two spikers in the front line of Creamline, which is the reason why the blockers of Petrogas moved early to the right side of the net. But Gia was fast and smart to decide to give their middle an A quick set, despite the fact that she was away from the net. And her being away from the net um, actually made the play more unpredictable. Clearly, the blockers of Petrogas wasn't prepared, and it left a big open space, which um, Domingo took advantage of and easily scored a point as the floor defense of Petrogas wasn't able to react quickly as well. As Panaga there gets the point Meta. of Gia Morado. In this play, Cheng saw a big open space in the middle of the net and made the right decision by giving it to their middle attacker, Panaga. And I believe this play showed the versatility of Panaga as a middle attacker. Her form showed that she was going to attack on her right, but on the last second, she shifted her angle to her left, and Gumaba was not prepared and was a bit late in reacting to help stop the ball from the net. Morado was actually on the right spot, but was not low enough to be more stable, and with this, Petrogas was able to score a point easily. Gia sets it to Valdez. In this play, we can see that there were three spikers in the front line of Creamline, which gave Morado more options, but she chose a very simple play at a very effective one. In this play, we can see that Domingo was very convincing with her aggressive approach, which made her a very good decoy and we can see how effective she was because Panaga, the middle blocker of Petrogas, stayed with her and waited for her to attack and with this, it left only one blocker with Valdez. Panaga tried to help but she was already late and the wing spiker of Petrogas, Sabete, was closing too much of the down the line and left an open space for a cross-court attack and Valdez took advantage of this and we don't want to leave only one blocker with Valdez because of her aggressiveness and deficiency in spiking and we can see that in this play um, Petrogas was not able to handle it. <laughs>